Hey, it's Jeff Sauer here, taking you behind the scenes at our operation here at Jeffalytics. In this video, we are gonna talk about our process for writing blog posts based on the videos that we create. We are gonna walk you through all the steps that we take to make a blog post, the process we use to make sure that everything's written, edited, and pushed out there to our blog, as well as the process we use for writing descriptions on YouTube and for our email marketing. So if you're wondering how we're gonna write nearly 200,000 words over the course of 90 days, this is how we do it. This is the process we use, and it's something you can follow along with as well. So check it out and hope you enjoy it. So let's take you behind the scenes of our writing process. Now we've shown you behind the scenes videos of all of our production process steps to this point forward. In video number one, I welcomed you to the 90 day challenge and I even wore my stupid Minnesota Vikings shirt before they got their butts kicked in the NFC championship. In video number eight, we showed you the planning process, what goes into planning 90 videos in 90 days. Video 15, we outlined our content strategy. This one got a lot of love. People really liked the idea of content strategy and how you map this thing out and how you tie it to keywords, SEO, results, and something that we can stay passionate about as we do this for months at a time. Video 22, we actually showed you how we built out this video script in 29, we took a behind the scenes look of my video setup. This is the one where I snapped my fingers and we were at different parts of the screen. Yes, it was video magic. Yes, it's basically like we are Lucasfilm creating Star Wars with these videos. No, I am not being serious right now. We are not nearly the quality of something like that, but it's pretty good quality for just starting a 90 day challenge and trying to get good at this. And then in video number 36, which is last week, we walked you through the video editing process. And this might've been my favorite video of behind the scenes of all of them, because it was a lot of fun and it was really cool to see the difference of video editing. We even threw in some errors there so you could see how often I screw up in my green screen videos and maybe even level with us a little bit into how this all works. Now today, I wanna share with you our writing process. Now, so far, we've generated over 75,000 words of content across blog posts and emails. And nearly 200,000 words will be written by the end of this project. That is insane. Now, how the heck do we manage to get all that done? It's all about process and it's all about people. And I definitely wanna give a shout out to our process in this video, but I also wanna say the people we have on our team are top notch. We've really upped our game. We've taken the ability to write to a new level and we are basically putting out content that used to take me a month to create and to agonize over a single blog post. It would take me a month to even decide to write something or I'd have a weird bout of inspiration and I'd write it over a weekend or something like that. We're doing these one a day. It is insane. It's something that I can hardly even understand how we're able to do this. We're able to take something that used to take me 30 days and we're doing it once a day, 30 days a month. We're 30 times more productive than I've ever been. It's all about process. Yes, it's all about process. And I'm sharing with you the process, but you can't do a good process if you don't have good people. And I really love how the team has come together, how we've galvanized ourselves around this, and we are putting out top-notch content and we're doing it every single day. So a shout out to my team for putting this all together. It's been an awesome ride and we're only halfway there. Now here's how we do it from a process perspective. We start with our video script outline. Now I talked about this in video number 22, how we build up the script. We basically take that outline and we paste it into a outline shell in WordPress. Now this is where our writer, this is their first interaction with the content. Now they might listen to my raw video where I screw up a hundred times, but their first interaction is often inside of the shell of WordPress where they have an outline and then they can watch the video, they can read the script that I wrote within the PowerPoint, they can do whatever they need to do in order to get familiar with the content. Now, some of us will actually use Trint to transcribe the videos. We upload this to Trint, they'll give us a transcript and it just works. We just basically have a outline of what I said. Now, as you can see here, even in the first line there, it says, it's just sour here. That's what they think Jeff Sauer is. So this thing is not perfect, but it's funny. I actually say it, Jeff Sauer, just sour, sounds almost the exact same. I don't blame the robots here. I blame my name or myself for my inability to articulate because Jeff Sauer and Just Sauer sound the exact same. Now I'm just feeling weird that I've been saying my name as Just Sauer this whole time and I'm gonna crawl into a hole because I have no idea how to improve upon that. The things you learn as you go through this 90 day challenge process. Now next, you build a strong narrative in a comprehensive post in WordPress. Now this is the one that I gloss over the most but it is the most important piece. 
If you don't have a strong narrative and a comprehensive post, none of this matters. And I'm starting my team off with maybe 300 words of content that they can use as an outline. It's the shell, it's like the headlines, it's the, t the H1 tags, the H2 tags. I'm giving them all that that they can use for their post, but they need to fill it out. They need to come up with their own creative direction. It's up to them to decide how they want to do the next piece of this. And they do an amazing job. This is what I'm talking about. The team can take something that's as raw as me talking on a green screen, talking to my computer, and they can turn it into something awesome. And what they're doing on a daily basis is incredible. Most posts are somewhere between 1,500 or just short of it, all the way up to 2,000 plus words. Every single one of them. And that's how we're arriving at the number here. 90 day challenge if we're doing 2,000 words plus spread out across emails and blog posts and YouTube descriptions. We are going to have almost 200,000 words by the time this thing is all said and done. And that is insane. So the posting piece, like I said, I'm not spending a lot of time on it because I could go through it, the entire words of the post, but you're somebody who's capable of reading. You can read the post and you can see how much work went into it and you can see how awesome these things are. So if you've been following along, you know these people are awesome and they do a great job. We also need to take the imagery outside of the posts that we create and we need to put them into WordPress. So we copy these things, we save them as pictures, we might do some optimization, some compression to make it work, and we choose which one of these slides we want to put into an actual post. Then at the end of the post, we add in our 90 day challenge CTA, getting people to know that this is part of the 90 day challenge and to getting them to subscribe to it because the more subscribers we get, the more worthwhile it is to send out a daily email, the more worthwhile it is to keep on producing these videos and the better our built in audience is that's actually watching these videos. Now outside of the post, we create a featured image in Canva. Now you can see here, tools of the trade. We have a whole template we use for those. We use templates for analytics stuff. We have different templates for whatever we're doing, whatever we're putting out there. And this is what we use. We use Canva to create our featured image. Next, we go into YouTube and we take our description and we make it work. So we put links to our full articles. We put links to our calls to action, our mini courses, all that type of stuff. And then we put in the text of the article either all the text or a significant portion of it in order to make the YouTube description show up in search results. And we're definitely linking back to our full article so we can give credit back to where credit is due, but that's how it works. We create descriptions and titles so we can optimize for YouTube search in addition to optimizing for Google search within our website. A lot of you who are on the 90 day challenge list are the ones who are receiving these particular videos. So this is how you get to know that we're doing our behind the scenes videos every single Sunday. We write an email specific to our lists. So we have a PPC list. That's this one right here that I'm showing you an example of our analytics course, our Jefflytics list and our agency course list. And they get a specific email once a week to each of these lists. And that's how we keep them informed with what we're doing in the 90 day challenge. And that is our writing process. As I said, it's a lot about process, but it's all about people as well. I've tried putting writing processes in place in the past and they did not work very well. And the reason why is because I didn't have the people. So your process is only as good as the people who can execute on it. People who are stepping outside of their comfort zone, going above and beyond the call of duty to deliver good things. And so the reason why this is a challenge is because anybody can write a thousand word blog post or a 2000 word blog post once every 30 days. Anybody can do that. It's really not that hard, but the more you do it, the easier it gets to write, but the harder it is to keep track of things. And so that's the cool thing is that we're not only stepping up to a challenge, we're writing way more than we've ever written before, but we're also getting better at writing. And so it's cool. It's a challenge that works both ways. It makes you better at what you do. And overall, you start to like writing. You start to get better at it. You start to find how do you connect with your audience in a better way. And so process is one thing. People is a much more important piece of it. You need both in order to get to the point where you can do this. And I'm really proud of my team for what they've done in this 90 day challenge. And that's it for this video. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you wanna see our whole production process. Every Sunday, we're putting out these videos about our production process. Hopefully you enjoyed this one and I'll talk to you soon.